After nearly five years with Mohawk College, Rob McIsaac will be stepping down as president after accepting the top job at Hamilton Health Sciences. McIsaac's five-year contract with Mohawk expires at the end of January 2014 and will be starting as president and CEO of six hospitals and a cancer center in Hamilton in February. Although McIsaac does not have any health training, he is confident that his five years as president of Mohawk will help him succeed in being the top boss at the Hamilton Health Sciences. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I've, I've learned a lot over the five years I've uh, spent here at Mohawk and uh, um, uh, made lots of uh, good connections both in the community uh, and here at the college. So uh, I think it'll stand me in very good stead uh, as I uh, enter into this new position. During his five-year tenure, McIsaac is credited for radically transforming Mohawk's Fennel campus with the largest renewal project in the college history. According to McIsaac, this was also his biggest challenge during his time as president at Mohawk. You know, when I came five years ago, um, I think people were still kind of smarting from uh, a student referendum uh, which had lost around a new rec centre, and so it was a big challenge to... Uh, find a way uh, for us to get a new rec center built. I felt it was really important for our students to get one, so uh, we've been able to do that working closely with the MSA. Aside from transforming the campus through renovation, under McIsaac's presidency, the college saw its student enrollment increase, but most importantly, Mohawk has become the top-ranked college in the greater Toronto-Hamilton area for three consecutive years. Vice President Academic Cheryl Jensen believes Mohawk wouldn't be where it's at without the help from Rob McIsaac. Rob's term here has been one of inspiration for me. He has, uh, I think, led the college in directions we would never have gone without his leadership. A lot of the dreams that I've always had for Mohawk College in terms of our facilities, the type of programming that we offer, have come true. It will be up to Mohawk's Board of Governors to select a new president. The process will begin with a meeting on November 13th. For Ignite News, I'm Ayan Mahmoud.